Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee Art and Cats in the Morning. So, if you don't follow me on Twitter, I've got two new cats. I've been talking about it for a while. Denise, my daughter, had adopted two little kittens a few months ago. And she didn't really want cats. And half their family's allergic to cats. And so, um, but she didn't want them, you know, little kittens in the pound. So, she took them in. And I told her that I would take them from her as soon as they were old enough to get fixed. And blah, blah, blah. Well... They came here yesterday. So we'll probably be seeing cats. I got two new cats. Now, I tried to show it on my phone, but, you know, the camera doesn't like to pick up the lighting on my phone very easily. But I'll show you the pictures a little bit. So here they are in my studio. They're two white cats there. They're over there on my drafting table. And uh, so you'll probably see them roaming through here. Their names are Oliver and Malibu, and that's what Denise named them. Well, Denise, Boo, and Cam named them that. <clears throat> and they're both over in the window right now, <laughs> looking out over here. Uh, but they'll probably be jumping through here as we go through. And uh, so, yeah. So I got two new cats. The diva's not happy, but the diva will have to get over it. <laughs> so, uh, anyway that's what's going on I said I pulled out these two pictures to color today they're out of the hidden paradise y'all remember I colored one of these I think last week or the week before by Chris Lopez so we're gonna color two pages at once well we're gonna work on two pages at once so all I've done so far is her skin with these two Copics and I do have a bunch of co uh, Copic color uh, skin tones that I'll be using uh, otherwise I'll be using multiple different kinds of alcohol markers I pulled out the set that I got at Hobby Lobby last week um, and I have these three colors picked out right now to use and so I'm going to be using those I have uh, Copics I have uh, I have a few Blick alcohol markers I have uh, the um, <clears throat> what are they called the name escaped me. The uh, other brand of, uh, oh, what are they called again? Why can't I remember? Let me find one here. Um, oh. Hoo Hoo Hero. Hoo Hoo Heroes. And these are called uh, Conda. C-O-N-D-A. So I got those. So anyway, uh, all I've done so far is uh, some skin on her. And I'm going to make her a dark skin girl. Hey, Dot. And so I'm going to probably just be flipping back and forth and working on I am going to zoom in one more. Maybe two. Eh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for now to get the base coat. When I go to do shading and stuff, I can do more. Um, I'll, I'll zoom in more when I start penciling on top. So anyway, so I hope everybody had a good weekend. It was busy here and, you know, got the cats yesterday. And uh, so I did really no art over the weekends. Did some cleaning and errands and things on Saturday. And then yesterday, um, got the cats, took Boo shopping, um, you know, getting used to the cats. So it was pretty much yesterday was a cat day. And <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so we're going to work on, on both of these today. Um, so these are the skin tones that I worked on her so far. They're Copic E02 and E00. But again, I'm, I'm not going to tell you every number, color, and brand that I'm using. I'm just saying I'm using alcohol markers. Because it's not going to do you any good if I use, if I tell you on Copic I'm using an E00. But then I'm going to also be using a uh, Conda, you know, 172 there's there's a little Malibu and so <laughs> and so it's just not gonna you know it's not gonna be helpful to you, you want to get behind me come on come on come on back here come on 
And so it's just not going to be helpful, you know, when I'm using so many variety of brands. of They're just all alcohol markers. So I this is my little test sheet over here. So these are the colors that I did some testing on. This color right here is the, she's going to have darker skin, so I need a base coat her. But I don't want her too dark at first, right? So I'm going to base coat her. And I have not tried skin tones with this. We're going to see how this works. If it doesn't work, I'll just have to pen, use pencil. I'll start on her neck or something and see how it works because, you know, skin is very hard to blend. So I thought if I just put a solid base coat of this color on her and we'll see how that goes. And then I'll try some Copics on top. I got the, uh, the darker uh, Copic skin tones. So we'll try that. I want her to have black hair, so I'll highlight it with a, you know, a pretty blue. And... Um, and I wanted her to have, no wait, that's wrong. I wanted her to have blue hair, no, blue skin, no, hello, pink hair, where's my pink? No, black, <laughs> sorry, I had this all mapped out and I'm trying to think of the two different ones. Um, this skin, what was the blue for? Maybe the blue was for something over here. Because she's having black hair. Eh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I had a plan. I had some kind of a plan here, and I changed my mind. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> I need more coffee. I know. Uh, no, I'm not writing them down. That takes up too much time. Uh, yeah. I mean, I could have when I've decided on my plan, but, you know. And then I pulled out my... Um, Fine Tech, Fine Tech Golds, because I thought that would be good on maybe her jewels here and the hangy, bobbly, jewelly things. And also in here, I think I want some gold and, you know, metallics in here. I'm going to do behind her black. Like, all right, let's just take a minute and do that and get, get in the groove. Let's go ahead and get in the groove. Now, the, these, and there's different tips, too. So the Condas have the very, very extra wide tip. It's wider than, say, here, let me get, uh, let me just grab a Copic here. The one with the, oh, it's a hoo-hoo. Well, the hoo-hoo, they have the same size. <clears throat> they have the same size. Um, see how thin how thin that is compared to this one these con condo ones have very very wide but you can it's got a point on it and it, you can get still get a sharp line but the other side of these are just the bullet tip whereas the uh, Copics and these are kind of tricky you got to really line these up to close them I don't you know it's a little annoying these are a little annoying. You gotta just get it just right, or they won't snap. Um, whereas, you know, your Copics have your brush tip, and Blick has brush tip. So they have different tips. I just deal with it, you know. Um, see me use gold. I have no idea how to color gold. Well, a couple things with gold, and I've I've done gold with. Now I haven't t tested these very much because I just got these. But with anything metallic, like when I use a gold acrylic paints, you cannot shade pencil over them because of the sheen. And that's true with any of your um, uh, acrylic paint washes. If, it, if you use gold, it's got that sheen. Or if you use gloss or satin, you can't shade pencil over it. It resists. And, and actually, that's true of most acrylic paints other than craft paint. That's why I like just your, well, that's a craft smart. I mostly use uh, Americana. I have a couple of craft smarts, but mostly all my colors are Americana. There's, if you just get the plain Americana craft paint, there's no sheen to it. So you can put pencil over that, right? Um Whereas your, your acrylics in tubes, your nicer acrylics, that you know, like your Liquitec Basics or your Grumbachers or anything in a tube, they have a sheen to them. They have a slick factor. Yeah, exactly, Terry. And that slick factor resists your pencils. So to shade on top of it, 
um, it's difficult. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start here with the fine point. And what I'm going to do is I want behind her head here. And I could be using any of the, this is just black. I could even be painting it. But I wanted to try to, you know, use as many markers as I could today. Until we get to the shading, you know, deep shading. <laughs> and uh, so I just want this circle like right behind her head. Let's go ahead and go all the way around. And there's a little white edge, a little border. So, like, if you wanted to frame it or anything, there's a white edge all the way around these. And like with any alcohol markers, if you if you want a crisp edge, you got to be careful not to like let it get too. Don't just hold your marker down there because it's going to bleed out. Hey, Karen K, Painty Girl. I'm sure I'm missing some people. Dragon Sarah. Thanks, guys, for being here. So, yeah, the cats are just kind of one sitting right over here. Look, I'll see if I can do this. There she is. There's little Malibu. And the other one's in the window behind me or to the side of me. Hey, Malibu. Nally. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, she's decided to get up already. That that nap didn't last long. But they're real lovable. They're real lovable. Yes, they are. Yes, you are. Got to reach over and pet them every now and then. So if you have any questions, <clears throat> put them in caps. <laughs> I know. She's moving my stuff. It's creeping over this way. I told Denise, I said, you're, they're in here hanging out with me in the studio. She goes, you're brave. <laughs> so these markers I got at Hobby Lobby, these, these big fat painty they're you know conda they say the art of painting pen on them and it says hobby lobby on the case and uh they're normally like 40 dollars for 24 of them 24 25 of them and i got them for eight something so yeah that was a nice deal yeah so hubster's sneaking in here to look at the cats they're being, they're being good. So. Do what? Yeah, I got me a little helper. The other one's in the window. Did you see? Yeah, he's over there in the window. I don't have them open. I don't have the window open though because it's drizzly. So. It's okay. Yeah. Are they looking at you? And then the, here comes. Yeah. Look, he heard you. Look, he's follow, He's gonna follow you around now. Oh, big fella. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the sponsors like Barb's. I don't know how much will their sponsors, but we'll see. It was so cute though. Barb, Barb tweeted because Barb has the two Siamese cats and that she rescued. And uh, I told her this was you know ever since she got them years ago, some years ago. If you ever didn't want those cats, I'll take them. Well, she, you know, she never, obviously never took me up on that, but <laughs> um, she's told me, she um, tweeted, Chance is so mad at you because you, <laughs> you've, you're a traitor to him now. <laughs> that was really cute. So there's not any shading or anything going on. I'm just solid filling in, you know. <laughs> Hey, Lou. 
in there. Hey, Button, CBC. Hi, guys. So anyway, it was really cute. It was really cute that Barb, you know, did that with the cats. You gonna come up here too? They're just they're exploring, but they do like hanging out in here with me. I think because I'm streaming, I'm talking. They um, they probably think I'm talking to them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Terry. I think they think I'm talking to them. <clears throat> But they both follow Hubster around. And see, they hang out together. They're always together. Because that's all they've ever known is each other. You know, they've never been around any other cats till the diva. <laughs> okay. So there is... See, it's annoying to try to get the cat. Because you got to line the thing up. See how it's got a little groove in it? See? you got to line that up just right to close it. Okay, and they will go through. They are alcohol markers, even though this paper, it has a little bit of a texture to it. I wouldn't, it kind of feels like, now it's not, it's not like it, but it feels kind of like a hot press watercolor, but a thinner weight, like a light weight. It has that feel, kind of a soft watercolor feel to it. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> there, there we go. Yeah, litter mates. Yeah, okay, well, this is Oliver, and he's got the big fluffy tail, and he's, he's I, as I called him, he's meatier. <laughs> he's meatier. He's a little bigger. Don't get, uh, uh, no, 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 not on the computer. You'll shut me off. You can go around, walk around, but not on the computer. Yeah, because you'll turn me off. <laughs> he's butting his head against the, the markers, and so... You gonna look at the camera? Oh, there you go. Oh, no, no, no. Don't knock it out. No, okay. Come on. <laughs> All right, jump on down. Okay, there we go. So that was uh, that was Oliver. <laughs> okay, so um, now back over to this one. I want her to have black hair. So I'm just going to kind of fill it in black. I'm going to kind of leave... Um, I'm going to leave a little bit of line, um, you know, between some of the the streaks that they the artist drew in here. Because it's going to have blue pencil on top of it. <laughs> yeah, trying to give you a hug. So I'm going to go in, ugh. I'm going to go with the big chisel tip here. And I am going, I'm going right over everything. It's going to just look like she has solid black hair. But I'm going to shade it with blue. So she'll have highlights. But for now, I just want to get it blocked in. Yeah, so this is our first test with the babies in the in the studio. And they're only like, they're, I think they're like nine months old, I think, something like that. Denise had their papers from the vet and all, and they're fixing and their shots and all that in her, in her bag. Uh... And then she had a recall in her car, so she turned in her car and the bag was in the trunk. So I don't have their paperwork. I gotta get their paperwork from her. So you can see I can get I can get a nice point. See that's what the chisel tip right there, see that sharp point right there? I can get a sharp point with the, a chisel. And then I think her hair kind of comes around back here. I'm going to put some there anyway. And I'll put some like flyaway hairs and all that after a while. So if you have any questions or anything, hey Eileen! And it's so funny because Eileen has two cats that look almost exactly like these two. She has two white cats with markings on their head. I don't know if it's exact markings, but they... Um, Yeah, they're hanging out here, Eileen. They're in the studio. They've already put their little nose up to the camera. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So I can leave it a little streaky so that I can put the blue highlights. So 
So I know that's a little bun thing. She's got a little bun thing going on here. And then this one's going this way. So I'm just doing each section of her hair. Okay, so I think that part of her arm is there. So it looks like this is going around over her arm there. <clears throat> yeah, they're cousins. I know they have to be. They're so they look so much alike, don't they, Eileen? So I don't know if there's a shoulder back there, but I'm just covering it all up with hair there. Something like this. And again, I'm gonna, you know, highlight it with blue. Well, yeah, and here's another thing. Denise said that they've never had canned cat food, and they have it here. <laughs> they have dry cat food and cat food. So uh, we gave them canned cat food this morning, and, yeah, I think, we, we are, you know, they're happy. They're happy to live here. <laughs> So I'll just give them a little bit, you know, I don't want to, you know, upset their digestive systems. And again, guys, there's a white line. So essentially this is going to be cut off right there. You see where the, you know, there's like a white border all the way around the um, edge here. So when I photograph it, I'll, I'll trim it, you know, I'll uh, crop it there. Or, you know, if you framed it, it would be, you know, you'd frame it that way. Because that right there is the edge. See where the flowers cut off right there? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So, yeah. So, there they seem happy. They hang out together. I mean, they're never too far apart from each other. Okay, so let's see. Did I get all the hair? Looking around. It's probably... Let me get the point here. Let me... Line that. See, it's just kind of annoying to get those caps back on. Right there's a little bit black. See what I'm talking about? The caps have that little, you got to snap them just so. Got to line them up. Okay. So, I think what it was is she was going to have blue hair. That was the plan. I'm working on two pictures at once. And if you're just joining me, I'm working in Hidden Paradise by Chris Lopez. And uh, I'm working on two pictures at once. <laughs> it's the only way I can get anything done. <laughs> Eileen said, my vet says dry food is better, but I think it's better for lazy people as you can leave it out all day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, well, so far, you know, like, we just get those little cans, you know, and like one little can, half it, and or triple it out, you know, space it out, and then they have the dry food, too, so they can have a little bit of canned stuff, but mostly dry stuff, but, um, yeah, <laughs> so, so far, they, they're getting along, but the diva, we have to separate them right now. And we're going to have to introduce, you know, they're going to have to be introduced together. Because yesterday it was, um, yeah, it wasn't good. <laughs> uh, and like I said earlier, when we uh, adopted or rescued Diva, she was already, and I don't believe in declawing cats, but um, she came to us declawed. So it may in this case be a good thing because she can't attack the other two with claws anyway. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so now, before I, I'm not going to shade or anything yet, I want her to have dark skin. So I picked this color, and I'm not sure this is going to be like the base coat of her darker skin. You know, it'll get darker with a mark and marker and or pencil. 
so uh, she's an elf oh I forgot some of her hair there oh my gosh I literally forgot some of her hair behind her ear see she has a pointy ear she's like an elf right so I'm just gonna I want to I'm, I'm leaving some space in between because I wanted to see the the shape of the hair and if I just colored it all in solid I would not remember where all the waves are so where these waves are there's gonna I'm gonna put highlights in there with blue hi Linda anybody else so um yeah I'm I want her to have be a dark skin girl all right so but I'm not sure about these markers so I'm going to test out maybe on her neck here and then see how if I can blend with Copics with this color as a base and let's see how streaky it is if I can get a smooth blend with I mean a smooth lay down with this marker you know because I'm not used to I'm not used to doing markers you know but you know with these cheaper brands it's even more iffy but you know we gotta try gotta learn gotta try so that's not too bad yeah I've had cats all my life guys it's not like this is my first rodeo <laughs> um Actually, this is probably the longest I've not, up until when I got Diva after Walter died, it was probably the longest I'd ever not had a cat in my life. <laughs> so there's her arm there, and I'm trying to, you know, make it flat, the color flat. And there's a little variation in it, but, you know, she's got a shirt right there. And then it looks like it kind of crosses over and then her this part of her chest is kind of showing I'm just doing a small section at a time so I can keep the edges wet like that yeah so Anyway, all right, so here's her ear. And I think I'm going to have, I want to try to get as much as I can with the big edge because I can lay it down smoother, you know. But let's just go in and do around her tattoo here with the pointy edge. And I'm not really zoomed in that close because I'm not doing any like real. Uh, shading or anything yet and this way I can flip back and forth between the two pieces and uh, you can see the big picture so I'm just going to work on these and I'm, I'm not going to you know I doubt that I'm going to finish either one completely but I thought you know you might like to see some more I, I, everybody loved that book so I'm going to you know working back in it again it's Hidden Paradise Chris Lopez So these tiny little areas in between the tattoo, um, or could be jewelry. Well, I don't know. That looks like chains there, but I don't know how she'd hold a hold a chain thing on her on her shoulder. <laughs> so it might just be a tattoo. If you keep the edge wet, you can blend it easier. And I'm not trying to blend two colors together or anything. I don't even know how well these will blend with Copics. But I like this color of tanny kind of, you know, mid-tone brown for a base on her skin. And then, you know, then I can uh, shade it either with a Copic or pencil or both. that
What do you, what is, there's only 18 of what left? Stars? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do her, all her hand, including her, oh, let me go around this right here. Including her fingernails and everything, because I'll go back over the fingernails with a color. So I'm just getting on that close edge. Again, these are annoying to line up. Okay, so... They're in the stencils now. Can you hear? They're in the bag. They're in the stencil bag. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep a wet edge as I go all the way down her arm here. So that it blends with the wet edge like that a little bit more right here something like that yes I bought it on Amazon I bought it for myself um, I think I bought it for my birthday <laughs> um, I got it because a uh, reading with pugs Jen got it and so I had it in my cart, and then I finally just bought it. All right, let's see. I don't think I'm going to do around her eyes, maybe because I want eyeshadow in there. I guess I could put a little light layer, but I'm going to put eyeshadow on her with all that with swirly bits and makeup. All right, let's just go for it. I'll just go ahead and put a layer down. We'll just have to either paint over it or pencil over it if need be. But I'm going to do one section at a time so that it stays smooth. So the uh, marker stays smooth. They sound like they're having fun getting in everything. Wait till you bring a plastic bag in there. <laughs> oh, Denise has... I don't want to say she's warned me, but kind of warned me. They're in everything. They're in everything, Mom. You know, they haven't been so bad yet, but, you know. So I'm trying to keep a smooth edge on her skin. But if it doesn't lay flat completely, no, streak-free, I should say. If it's not streak-free, I will go over it with pencil and smooth it out with pencil. But I'm trying to get as streak-free as possible. And I'll do a test of blending with on the side paper over here. So I'm going to go over to the wide tip and get a nice Alright, so let's see what I can do over here now I'm going to go right over her lips and everything because I'll put lipstick on her So it's a little, let it dry a minute. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. <clears throat> hey, third Terry. Might not mess with it too much more. So I'll blend it out with pencil. Because it is a little streaky. But that would be the case probably with me and Copics anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here real quick and just do a little test. Okay, so I'm going to try to see how this blends with the Copics. Oh, I'm not even going to put the lid back on.
see it still seems to me like it's more layering than blending maybe I don't know it's, it's almost like they're two kind of formulations see yes I did a flip through of this book um, last two weeks ago I think it was Painty Girl yeah when I got it okay so let's see let's try on our neck first because I, again I can do this with pencil it doesn't have to be you know shaded with uh, Copics so but I'm gonna try a little bit let's put a little bit on our neck here and then go it's really it's 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 a little tough it's a little tough to blend that just say <laughs> I think I probably would do better with pencil rather than all Copics or all marker see what I mean burn so I think I'll go with the um, I think I'll go with pencil all right well anyway that's just a base coat you know so I'm working on this one and this one at the same time now her skin I just did with these two light colors and I have you know I have all these lighter colors of skin this this is I think this is a combination of uh, two a, a set of skin tones which I think comes with six and then I bought a few extras so but they're all different you know from the start I started out with the six pack I think of skin tones I think there's a dark set and a light set I think is what it is there's two different sets but I've bought some indiv individuals as well so let's see now let's go with one shade darker on her this one's a little trickier to see because she's tiny Or tinier so I'm gonna put a little bit of the darker and then go in with the lighter <clears throat> okay so let's do a little more shading here whoops wrong end and this is E11 and E00. I mean, I know you can probably do 30 different sh different colors of uh, Copic blending, but, you know, I'm going to do her lips, too. Um, I'm not a Copic expert here. Doing my best. I should say a marker because they're not all Copics. Blend that out a little. I'm a pencil gal. Let's put a little under the eye here. I'll zoom in more in a minute. I'm just getting some base coats down. Well, I guess I could zoom in a little on this one because she's kind of little. Okay. So what did everybody else do over the weekend? I'm sure not everybody was herding cats. What's everybody else working on either this weekend or today?
And I'm just using two colors here. And it is going through, guys. It is, you know, it is marked. Even though this paper is a relatively thick, comparatively, you know, speaking to color book pages, it is uh, a nice, heavier paper. It's still going to go through. Alcohol markers will go through. Erin is mostly gaming with a bit of coloring. Vicki is sewing and reading. Third Terry did say, yes, herding cats with a D, Terry. <laughs> uh, oh, you're working in seasons, Erin? Okay. Dragon Slayer Sarah's coloring in Imagimorphia. Limo, she just got our first Copics and trying them. The four that were on clearance. Did well. I probably your colors probably aren't gonna like be in the same family. If you got them on the clearance one, there's probably a green one, a blue. You know, I mean, you can still practice. Painting girl, I was. It was my 34th wedding anniversary, and we spent it at a craft show. Very romantic. LOL. <laughs> Mountain Dream Retreats is working on Rachel's Challenge. Tink is worked on a front door decor. You got a capital D at Hobby Lobby for like $3.25. Yeah, that's awesome, Painty Girl. 34 years. Congratulations. You can blend with one marker. Just takes time. Yeah, you can like layer it up. Yeah. It, but it is, it is easier to do like this. Got to admit, right, Erin? <laughs> Take at least two colors that are sim you know, close. Karen K is coloring in Tenderful Enchantments from Clara Markova with Neo 2s. CBC is watching me. <laughs> Should play with Procreate. Yeah, yeah, isn't Procreate fun? I saw that piece you did on Instagram with Procreate. It is fun, isn't it? <clears throat> It's especially good to tweak, you know, my like I'm tweaking my uh, animal drawings for the phone cases in Procreate. It's going to be a shadow under those leaves a little bit like that. And there's some uh, grayscale, you know, the artist put some grayscale on here, so you can kind of follow that. That black on the hands there, that's already put there by the artist. Zeely worked on Medusa. I know, everybody wants me to work on Medusa. On the Medusa. Good for you. I haven't got to it yet. I know. I want to. I want to work on the Medusa. You're almost done with it? Are you Are you on, uh, you're on Twitter, I mean Instagram, aren't you, Zeely? Aren't you on uh, Instagram to show the picture when you're done? <clears throat> leave your link in there both of y'all can leave your link instagram links in there okay so yes i did want her to have blue hair so um i could do blue or pink what what color do y'all think blue or pink i thought i pulled out the pink marker I use because I had something over here. What color was this? Was this just a? No, that's not it. What, what pink did I pull out? <laughs> no, it wasn't that one. Hmm. I don't remember what kind of a light, kind of a pink color. That's not it. What color was that? I mean, I just dig out another one, but it's not in, I don't think it was one of the, this, this is too purple, so, hmm, where did, where did that color go? Do 
Should I put it away? What do y'all think? Pink or blue hair? Everyone's saying pink. Let's see. Here's a hoo-hoo. Let's see how dark this is. So that's neon. I want neon. That's too, well, now nah, it's still not quite pink enough. Let's see, but I don't want fluorescent. That might work. That's probably a good pink. Pink will look good. Well, this, this girl's got, she, yeah, she's got black hair. Oh, thank you. I'll come get some. Hubster just whispered to me. He has a fresh fresh pot of coffee. I think I'll do pink hair and a blue rose. That will be good, right? All right, let me move her because I don't want anything to go through and get on this girl. Hi, Mink. All right, so let's just put a, let's just put a base coat here. It's all, I'm just all solid pink here. It's a light pink. It's number RV23. And she's got her little headband thing going across there. Okay, Suze. I'm sure I'm missing some people coming in. Thanks everybody for being here. Monday morning. It's my it's my new cat day here with my two new cats. One's still in the window. Oliver's in the window. I'm not sure where Malibu is. Oh, here, uh-oh, uh-oh, careful. All right, so here is Oliver. There goes Oliver. They're going to, yeah. <laughs> just, a, just a flash through. Just flashing through. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's the names Denise gave them, so I kept their names. And they're like, I think they're around nine months old. I'll have to ask her exactly. So she just had them both fixed in the last, well, one about a month ago and the other one about two weeks ago. So um, Malibu still has a shaved tummy. Okay, so there's our pink hair. And then I think I'll have a blue rose. This I like this color of blue. I pulled it out for something. But now I don't remember what I was going to use it for. But I, I like it. It's not teal, but it's not baby blue. It's kind of a dark baby blue. Is there any little buds or anything on it? Okay. I think that'll be pretty. Yeah, but you like the pink? Yeah. So, oh, these line have to line up just right. I mean, it's really bad. To get, <laughs> can't get it back on. They have to line up, I mean, just so. All right, so there's that for a moment. I think maybe we'll go ahead and put a base coat of gold on here around the circle and, and right here. So all this will have to be shaded with either paint, pens, um, pen, paint or pen because you can't really... I mean, I could put some pencil on there, but it's not going to blend, you know. All right, so black hair. Yes, I'm going. To, oh, you want me to do that next? Okay, so we'll highlight. Terry said to highlight her hair with the blue. Okay, so what I'm going to do is my usual slate blue color here. I've got a couple of blues. Let's see which one do I want to pick. Let's get some white in. Okay, so let's see. I think one is slate blue and one is. I don't know what the other one is. Anyway, I like my slate blue. 
Let me sharpen it a little bowl here. You said you didn't remember what the blue... No, oh yeah, no, the blue marker wasn't for the hair highlights. I have to do that with pencil. I mean, I could put some blue on there just in the space, but that's not what I had planned on it. And again, the, the, the flower, there's a flower right here. you got to kind of imagine this is cut off. Like if you cut that off right there. See, it's got, a, it's got a white edge all the way around. I just kind of carried this over. Same, here's the bottom. You can tell better there. See, it's got a white edge. The uh, artist just left an edge. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting in some blue highlights on her hair. Yeah. The flower goes right there. So I left these white areas in the hair so I could know where to bend and and highlight her hair. See, like, because it's like little buns back here. Little rolls. Little cinnamon rolls in her hair. And then I can always go back in here with black if I get too much. Knock it back some. But right now I'm just kind of covering up the white. And then this comes this way. And then this comes this way. Say. You wish you had a little... I wish you had a little... <laughs> You want a little bun back there? <laughs> oh, good one, Painty. have dark brown eyes to go with her nice black hair. So there's a start. Yeah, no sunshine today, Susie. Yeah, it's rainy today, all day today. Okay. So let's see, maybe I'll do the those chocolate colors for her eyes. Let's, whoop, not that, let's go with the point, let's go with the, and I always do the pupil and highlights with Sharpie pen and Posca paint pen, you know, but she does need a little bit of shadow in her, what happened, I guess I just wore my point down, I was going to say, where'd my point go? Thanks, painting girl. Yeah, I'm going to go run down and get me some coffee in just a minute. So I'm going to put a little blue shadow in her eye there. And then I'm going to get a pen. Where's my Sharpie pen? Not the Sharpie marker, but the Sharpie pen. What'd I do with it? Where'd it go? There, here somewhere. 
Well, I know I got some in the other room because it's, it's a pen I write with all the time, so I'm always picking one up and taking it in the other room. So let me go grab one. Let me go grab some coffee and a, a sharpie pen because I guess I took them all in the other room. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I'll leave uh, Andy. Be Okay, I'm back, Malibu. Malibu's in the window, and Oliver ran downstairs. Okay, so, so I found my black pen. <laughs> I got them all over the place, and then I'd pick them up and carry them around. So I'm going to just give her nice dark pupils here, or a little bit bigger pupils, I should say. I'm going to go over the eyelashes. Usually, um, when something is black in a color book, it's not dark, real black, black. It's kind of a, you know, kind of on a dark gray. So you need to kind of go over the things that are black with a black pen or marker or paint or whatever. Because it's usually not black, real dark. Okay, so now... I want my Posca. Do the highlight here. I'm going to carry it down just a little. And then I want to get my white. Sharpen that. Yes, I put some blue in her eyes. And now I'm going to blend that out with white pencil. Soften the line. bit darker. Let's see if I can do it with the Copic. Just put a little dark on the tops of the pupil. And then just a touch. I mean, see, this is how my dad, I just, oh, by the way, I recovered just this square area right here. But this is how, you know, I clean my pencils off and stuff. And that's how it doesn't last too long. Okay, I got to get it. Here we go. A little sienna. So now let's see here. I'll use my Sienna and I'll probably need a couple other. Let's see where the colors do I want. 
probably just a tan color Let's see. to blend. I think this is a uh, what do you call it? Uh, ginger root, ginger root, sienna, light umber, and probably a dark brown, dark umber. Okay, we'll go with these. So they're all a uh, Prismacolor, and I got this a uh, sienna, uh, ginger root, light umber, and dark umber. Those are the colors that I got for her skin. Hey, Jen. I'm working in the book you made me buy. I mean, enabled. I mean, that I succumbed to. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So now I'm just going to start with the Sienna color. And I'm going to start. Oh, oh, I wanted her to have eyeshadow. So let's maybe blue. Do you want to have blue eyeshadow? Maybe. Let's go ahead and see here. Let's go ahead and roll on a little bit of blue. Kind of go with her hair. And then I want white. Like, you know, highlight, white highlight, shadow. And I'll go back over those little dots. See, because if I get white on those dots especially, it's going to knock it back to even a lighter gray. So I'll need to go back over those black dots. I mean those dots with black. Oh, I hear the cats are running. So let's go ahead and put some highlighted eyeshadow right up next to her brow. And the same thing for those black eyebrow lines. I'll go back over that with black pen and her eyelashes too. Hey there! If y'all just joining me, my cat, new cats are running around in here. And there's one of them. I don't want her stepping on the. This one's Oliver. I don't want him stepping on my papers. I mean, my. I don't want him to bend them. And he's gone again. I guess they're having a frisky moment here. Running in and out. Okay, so we got a little start there. Not well. She's she's not reacting well. She's going to get used to them. We're going to make them get along. So I'm just putting some like highlights in between all the makeup. Every time I buy something, my hubby asks, does Dee Dee have that? <laughs> Good one, Limo. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to do the black. I'm, I'll go back over all the black and their eyelashes and all that with the black pen after I'm done here with the skin. Okay, so now I'm going to go back with the Sienna now. This is where I was going at, the fir at first. And I'm going to start doing some shading with the Sienna on top of the marker. We started with a base coat of this, I mean, it doesn't look like that color. It's exactly, but eh, it's not bad. It looks different on this paper with a couple layers, but that's the uh, uh, Col uh, Con Conda, Conda brand from Hobby Lobby that I got on clearance. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought those. They're expensive. But I got them for eight bucks. So, what is it? You can talk. 
Are you going to talk? Put a little shadow under these little jewels hanging down. So I'm working on two pieces at the same time. I'm working on this one, and I'm working on this one. We're doing them at the same time. <laughs> I know, crazy, right? <laughs> uh, I think I want that light color coming all the way around there. Very light layers with the pencil. A little shadow along her hairline there. <clears throat> and so her ear too. She's an elf, remember? Let's lighten up the, let's go with white. A little highlight on her ears here. And then go back over it. Yep, cat talk. Yep. <laughs> So Eileen, what are you and Janet going to do today? Janet streams after me, and I don't know if Jean's streaming at 4 or not. Janet streams after me at 1 Eastern. I should say she and Eileen do, because they kind of team up. They kind of tag team. <laughs> Eileen bosses around. I mean, politely suggest to Janet what to stream. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's put a little right there on her. Not even sure when I'm going to tell her what to do. Hey, Karen. Somebody tweet that girl's... <laughs> She's an elf. <laughs> She's an elf. <laughs> it's an elf ear. Let's give her a nice bright lip line here. I'll knock it back, but I want it I want it to show up there. And same thing for some shine in her lip. A little bit on her nose. Mm, let's go ahead and put her a little bit of glow up here. cheek back out some jewels on her head there 
on our forehead. All right, let's go with the dark chocolate or the dark umber. I'm not sure what color I want our lips. Do I want some? Let's see. I want a magenta color. I think I kind of do. It's processed red, but I need the one darker. Raspberry, what's it called? Tuscan red will probably work. So I think I'm going to go with uh, the processed red and Tuscan red for her lips. Maybe a little bit on her cheeks. Hey, Dot. Oh, you like it? Tuscan red. Put a few little lip lines in there and a little shadow on this side. Go back in with a white and kind of make it a little pink. Couple more lip lines. Okay, I like that. Maybe just a little bit of try to keep it kind of. And her fingernails, I'm going to want this color, too. Hey, Connie. Thanks, stars. We're working on it. Got to do it layers. Skin's a little, you know, got to take your time. <clears throat> I'm going to use some of the gold fine tech here in a minute on her jewels and also on the on this back here on this one probably her dress too gold, like a gold lame kind of thing. Let's get my base coat down.
Oh, is it cold? Is that cold there, Connie? Yeah, we're getting rain here today. I'm not sure what the temperature is. Um, let me see. Let me check. 57. Thanks, Connie. Thanks, guys. I hope everybody else is working on some stuff. And if you're just joining us, I'm working on two pages at the same time out of Hidden Paradise by Chris Lopez. This is the cover. I've done a flip through of it a couple weeks ago. And I'm working on this page and on this page. Haven't done much blending or anything on her face yet. <clears throat> It's always kind of better to work on these larger faces because you can see them better on camera. You're designing very small stencils. Oh my gosh, Joan. Are you designing them to cut out on your Cameo? Or whatever machine you're using? Okay, she's a little... need some highlights around her fingernails here. This is just the highlight. I'm going to go back over it with a, you know, other, like, ginger root or something. But I want to have the highlights on her skin determined. She probably have a little bit of a collarbone something going on in here. to finish the sky on the balloon picture. Finally, Connie, aren't you going to be glad you're going to be done with it? They fly hot air balloons at night, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Do a night scene. Do a night scene on your um, balloon picture. That'll be cool. And who cares if they did or didn't uh, fly balloons at night? Yours can. <laughs> Here's my Sienna, a little bit under. too much on her nose there. Let's see if I can There we go. She's 
She's beautiful. Thanks, Melody. Keep working down the body here. Okay, so she's going to have some light here. Go back to my Sienna. Hello, cat. Don't you want to? Oh, oh, don't wake up your sister. Your sister's sleeping in the window. Oliver's going to go wake her up. You can't stand that she's sleeping in the window. She's still sleeping in the window, and he's just bugging her. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. What jeans? Jean, you're just having a time lately, aren't you? Are you going to be able to stream today? Let me sharpen this. I'm just holding all. I just hold my pencils in my hands. Pick what color I'm using. Isn't that what your grandson said he would do all the time? Hold all his pencils in his hand, Connie? What? Yes, want thinking do you left off my ankle and knee ribs? Hope so, but you're not positive. Okay. Are your antibiotics and all working on you, Jean? I mean, are you improving? And again, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be some stuck on jewels like like this or if it's a tattoo or or what. But I am going to um probably put some uh, metallics on it. Even though, I guess, if it's a tattoo, technically it wouldn't be metallic. No. We'll see. Okay, she's going to have a shadow right here from her hand. And she'll have a little light here on her shoulder. I actually got that a little too dark. Shadow wouldn't probably be right there. Got 
that's better. Okay, sip on my coffee, sitting here getting cold. Oh, 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 <laughs> the cats are. Okay, gotcha, Connie. Going to see your doctor tomorrow, Jean? Okay. Yeah, her name is Malibu. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and take a break from the skin blend because I've not done, you know. Obviously, I got to do more. Um, skin blend. But I'm going to take a break from that for a minute and do some gold. Okay. I'm not sure if her nostrils not going around that side or not. Sometimes it's hard to tell what the color book artist is doing. You know, some certain lines are not that clear. Then you try to follow them as best you can, but let's see where's my black. And she's kind of looking up a little. And then a little bit of inner lip here. Okay, I think real quick though, I am going to go ahead and go with my black pen and go over the eyelashes because there's pencil on them and they're also not real dark black from the printing. It's pretty black, but it's not as black as you can get it with a pen. And the same thing for all the little tattoo and or <laughs> uh, makeup lines. She doesn't have much eyebrow. It's the kind of eyebrows I had in the 70s. Not the dots, but the, <laughs> the thin line eyebrows. I think I'm going to give her a couple little hairs. Let's give her a couple little eyebrow hairs. Why not? You know, those drawn on, thin, thin. Eileen, did you have these kind of eyebrows back in the day? I always throw it out at Eileen. <laughs> so bad. Sorry, Eileen. And then I want those little dots to be nice and black. And her eyelashes. All the makeup nice and black. Lace from her wedding dress on her arm. Oh, you think that's lace? Could be. Those look like little jewels. Could be. I'm gonna kind of. I'm gonna do this gold too. You know her dress here, the leaves. So I guess I could just put a coat of gold on all of it. Okay, let's get these bottom lashes in here. And this could all just be makeup, you know, dotted. Now that right there is some stuck on jewels. What do y'all think? 
you couldn't do them they're too thick <laughs> your eyebrows are too thick oh <laughs> I wait still a little tiny bit of line on that lip there okay I'm going to stop on everything and I want to put gold on here so I'm going to use my fine tech um, look how shimmery those babies are right get a water brush okay I need to go get some water hang on oh, there's a little bit in there let me go ahead and fill it up hang on right Now, let me do a little test over here to see which one I like. Because these two are the shiniest. And this one's called... Oh, I got the names are on the box. I kept the box because I don't remember. I need to put the names like in the lid here or something. So this one's called Tibetan Gold, Inca Gold, Arabic Gold, Gold Pearl, Moon Gold, and Sterling Silver. And the Inca gold and the Arabic gold are the two brightest. This one having a little bit more darker gold. And so it's going to be one of these two, I think. So let me just squeeze out some water in both. Get them wet. Thank you, Angel, Orla. Hey, CBC, the one eyebrow look. <laughs> the onesie eyebrow look. Now, I never had a onesie eyebrow. But I did have thin ones. You know, you plucked them down and drew them on. Okay, so let me get a Kleenex. Hi there. She's looking at me in the window. And then here comes the other one. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> yes, what is it? You're walking on my paint. Don't walk on my paint. Yes, yes, I see you. You're walking on my stuff. You made me smear my paints. Eee. I think it's going to have to be the lighter one because the darker one's going to be too much like her skin. All right, walk by. I'm, I'm picking up my paper. You're going to just lay there? Oh my gosh. Can I have that please? Thank you. So it's going to be the lighter one I think. See this one's going to be too much like her skin. Is that your little foot? You just want to lay right there, huh? Gonna look up? Come here, look up, look up at the camera. <whistles> Gonna look up at the camera? You sniffing my paints? Do they smell good? You're a, you're a loud sniffer. I'm going to move them. I'm going to move them back here. Now you going to look up. Gonna look up. can't get him to look up. <laughs> I'm just going to make yourself at home right there, huh? There we go. 
There we go. All right, we gotta get back to work now. We'll just leave leave it with the fur on the head there. <laughs> You're knocking my markers on the floor? What the? You can't have that. Where's all your toys? She has a piece of something. You'll stick a post-it note on your body so you can slide, fling that off? <laughs> okay. All right. Now, let's come back to her. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's all kinds of stuff for them to play with. Now he's going to jump up on his sister and wake her up. She's late. She's stretched out. Stretched out in the window from one end of the window to the other. And he wants to jump up there on top of her. Come up here. Come here. Come here. Come sit. Oh, she's stretching. Sorry, guys. Cat moment. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the um, Arabian gold because it's brighter. And I'm going to go ahead and just put a coat over all the areas that I'm going to want metal. And I have not tried to pencil over this, but I'm sure it's not going to go well. So I'll probably have to put maybe this gold and then shade it with um, the darker gold. I'm not sure yet. But it's so shiny, I want to use it. <laughs> care what happens I just I'm gonna I'm gonna put this gold on here no matter what happens ah don't get in there you'll get stuck no 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 come on get down get out of there come on get off the rolls get off the roll there you go okay under the table there guys hey A little more water in there. It's very shiny. I love it. I'll hold it up so you can see it. Just a minute. He's under the table on the shelf behind the table. Then we got to go back and do a little more on our skin. What time is it? Let me check the time here, guys. Okay, we're good. Hey, Paula. All right, let's see. Yeah, you can hear them under the desk. And all this and this over here is going to be gold. It's like a gold lame dress, I'm imagining. What are you getting into under there? Hmm? You're going to see how shiny it is. You can't tell yet. I'm going to surprise you when I lift it. You're going to go, ooh, ah, ooh, <laughs> when you see how shiny it is. They will end up being banned. <laughs> they might. <coughs> they might. We'll see. So far, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, let them kind of have a little leeway because I want them to get used to the house and us and everything. So. Do it on our hair. Okay, got a little on her hair, but I'll go back over that with the black because I haven't finished her hair either. Okay, now wait for it. Where's my Kleenex? Here it is. All right, all right, watch for it. Wait for it. Ready? Bam! <laughs> So I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll probably put some of the darker gold for the shadows. 
Isn't that cool? See how shiny? How old are they? I think they're about nine months. I have to ask Denise. Because she, um, the paperwork for them, she left in, and I didn't even ask her. Uh, the paperwork for them is, uh, it got left in her car on her, on her car recall. So I, she forgot the paper, or couldn't, didn't bring the paperwork. Isn't that cool? There we go. I know. Hey, Miss, is that Miss Vicky? Yeah, hey, Miss Vicky. Yeah, that's the, uh, these are the fine techs. The fine tech golds. And again, the colors are, I kept this because it's the only thing with the names of them on. Uh, Tibet gold, Inca gold, Arabic gold, gold pearl, moon gold, which is almost like a cross between a silver and a gold, and sterling silver. Now, you can buy these individually for about $6 each. So, I would probably recommend, you know, one of these two, because that this is the Arabic gold. It's like a really true bright gold. And maybe one of these, you know, if you're just going to buy them individually, but I'm going to try to shade with this one a little bit. Oh, here we go. There's a cat. Cat alert. You're just going to fling yourself down. All right, so I'm going to set this aside and let this dry. There, look how shiny. Okay, Oliver. Uh, I'm going to let that dry for a minute and come back over to this one. We're working on two pieces at once. <laughs> here, take the box. Take the box. Gonna... Oh, my gosh. Look at this, guys. Are you comfortable? Hmm? Are you comfortable right there? Literally right there, right in my way. <laughs> so, here, you hold that box. I want this to be gold. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. It's our first day, full, our first full day with these two. Stretch out. Just go ahead and stretch on out. Stretch on out. Right? <laughs> Curl up. Stretch out. Yeah, let's move the little tail, the paws. Okay. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to paint this. We'll see. Okay. Do you want me to paint your toe? Really? Don't lick that. I don't know if that's good for you. No. No. Really? Don't lick that. Ugh. It can't be good. I got the lid shut here so you can't lick it. And then this little lantern thing over here. Go aggravate your sister again. Okay. So look. See how shiny? <laughs> yes, I got two new kitties, Miss Vicky. Uh, my daughter had uh, rescued two kittens, like when they were a couple weeks old. And half her family's allergic to cats, I, you know, but she just could not see those two little kittens going to the pound. So she rescued them, and I told them I'd take them when they were old enough to get fixed. Well, they got fixed, and now they're mine. So we got them yesterday. Oliver and Malibu. I think I'm going to do the rose leaves gold too. And then she's got a little cuff on her sh on her arm there. Why are you sneezing? What are you sniffing? What are you sniffing over there? part of her arm there. 
He is, he's literally on my table right here next to me. There, there he goes. Now he's going to go bug his sister. Okay, so the gold stem, I want the, the stem on the rose to be this gold. I know you can't see it, but I'll hold it up in a minute. What else? I think these are like little cabochons or something. I'll do those. Gold. Now he's sitting behind me. Are you happy now? Sitting behind me on the chair. Get Settle in. Settle in. I'll probably need another coat. So look. See how shiny that gold is? I think he's in there. <laughs> get, I get yelled at for waking my sister. And then I get yelled at for trying to help you. I know, right? Uh, yeah, Walter. Our Walter lived to be 18. And he passed away, I think it was going on two years ago now. So I hadn't had new cat. Well, I hadn't had a, a, a long-term cats other than Walter. And then we got the diva, and we've had her for s five or six months. And she was a rescue. And then we got these two from Denise. So I only got three cats. I've ne I don't think I've ever had more than three. I, in spite, in spite of what uh, Eileen tries to fawn off on me oh oh I'm Cameron's messaging me I sent him pictures hang on they keep making their appearance So I don't know if you'll be able to see. I'll try to hold up. Here's the best picture. Let me see. Let me turn it this way. Here's probably the best picture I have of them so far. There's, they're both up there on my drafting table across the room there. So there's, there's the two of them right there. There is Malibu with her bangs. Jean said she has bangs. And Oliver has like a widow peak. Widow's peak there. So there's, this, there's the two of them. He's laying behind me now. He's laying down. Okay, so see that gold, how pretty that is? It's very, very shiny gold. You are going to have to lock them out. Oh, um, I won't have them any. I'll, when I leave the room, other than just running run the bathroom or something, um, I won't let them come in here at night or anything. I close the. I'll, I will definitely be locking them out of the studio when they are unsupervised. There will be no unsupervised studio visits. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the other one here. Let's go back to her. So see how shiny the gold is. Now what I want to do though is I want to go with the. Um, uh, Inca gold, which is darker, this one, and I want to see if I can get like these little, you know, I'm imagining these are like little chain things. I'm not sure it's going to make much difference. I might have to go in there with something else. I'm not sure that's going to matter much. I mean, it's not that different, you know. The two golds, one on top of the other, is not that uh, dramatic of a difference. But it might be able to do a little bit on these edges here. That might show up a little better. So let's see here. A little shadow. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to keep it thick. I might have to go in there with... I mean, I'm sure I can heavily press down pencil on there. But there's not going to be any blend. You know... So you can't even see it on camera that there's another darker layer. All right. So I'll have to work on that. Okay. Do I want to go back to the skin? Let's see. Do I want any? Maybe do I want? I'll probably, even though it's going to probably have some color, and I'm going to put a little gold on the jewel on her head. On her 
forehead. Let's see. And do I want anything up in here? It could be a little bit of gold up in here. Kind of round some of these flowers. Like that could be gold, little gold leaves on her little floral um, crown head piece here. Maybe a little right in there. Like some of the little leaves could be gold. I mean, technically I could do all the flowers gold too. But I think that's going to be a little plain if I did that. So I think I'll just stick with some of the leaves. Look around the edges here. So for now, yeah, so for now, I was going to say about, oh, oh, I got the, I think I'll do these leaves gold too. So the Diva is, we have to separate them until they can kind of get used to each other. I love the help. Oh, mom, my mom's watching. She says she's loving the help I'm getting on the stream today. I know, right, mom? Oh, now look, your lane, okay, I don't think that one's not plugged into my computer. He's laying on the... Uh, power, you know, the plugs, and if he switches that off, the lights are going to go out. The computer's plugged into another wall socket, so <laughs> just need him to turn off everything, right? Turn off the lights, turn off the computer, shut down the stream. He's literally, his head is on the power, the power bar. Okay, now I'll let you see that. And I'm going to go back to her skin because I'm not done blending her skin. So I just clean, I just squeeze some water out and clean it off on a Kleenex. That's how I use these water brushes. But again, these are the fine techs, and you can get them on Amazon individually. All right, so here is her little, let's see? Okay, so let's go back to our skin. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go in here with my um, ginger root and kind of start blending it out now. Because I've got the layers on here. Now it needs to be blended out. You got your new gloves so I can hold my pen. Oh, nice, Connie. I know. Love that gold, right, Susan? All right, so I'm going to start on her neck. I usually do that, an arm or a neck, just to make sure I've got colors and everything because, you know, it's not like you're doing it on her face. So, let's see. Maybe I can zoom in one more here. A couple more. Okay. It's a little not quite the right color. It's a little darker in person. Let's see if I can just make it a little dark. There. That's pretty close. It's pretty close to the color. So, maybe you can see me start to blend this out. <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to make sure my white is bright enough because I'm going to go over it, right? I'm going to go over it with the ginger root. And blend that out. And I just go back and forth between that and my um, light umber here. Nope, that's going to be too dark. I might have to stick with the sienna. And just kind of go back and forth to keep it smooth. Just put a, I'm barely touching, barely touching the paper with the slightest little layer over the white. And it's, it's really not that bright. 
when you, uh, I'm looking at the camera and I'm looking here, it's not it's not as contrasted. In the camera, it looks very white and brown, but I see it more uh, in person. It's not as heavily cha difference. All right, so let's see. And again, especially with skin, lots of light layers. Barely touching this, guys. I mean, if you could see, let me see. Look, this is how lightly I'm doing it. Can y'all even see that? It's like nothing. It's like a whisper. Here, I'll show you hard pressure. Here's hard pressure. This is how much pressure I'm putting right now on the page. Just like that. And you just keep building it up. Building it up. Say. So I'm just kind of smoothing it out. And I'll go back with the uh, Sienna. Another layer. And this is what takes the longest on any of the, you know, any person. It's the skin. I mean, she's a dark skinned girl, but she still has light bouncing off of her skin. So, you know, the neck or arm or a hand, you know, it's best to like kind of practice your color blends on like not don't go right onto the face if you want to make sure your colors are what you want them to be. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay, Orla. I didn't even notice the caps. Hi, Kyla. Okay, Kaylin. <clears throat> and you can get a lot of layers if you're if you're careful. As long as you take your time. back with the ginger root and you can get rid of almost every pencil um, you know pencil I don't want to call it a pencil line but you know what I mean where the you can see pencil marks you can get rid of all of them if you're ta if you take your time and just slowly blend but you got to have patience and you have to like doing this you have to enjoy this part because <laughs> if you don't enjoy the blending and you know switching colors and just watching the pencil marks go away if you don't like taking your time to do this you're not going to do it well because you know because you won't like doing it so you're going to try to hurry it because you don't enjoy it but I like it you know I like blending and 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 making it smooth And I'll show you the difference here on a hand and her neck as soon as I get done here. But it is time consuming and I realize that when you're doing a stream, a live show, where you don't speed anything up. But I, I like not speeding things up even when I upload to YouTube because I like people to see how long things actually take. You know, if you, if you it's all if everything's always speeded up on all the videos, you don't have any clue as to how long something takes. So when you go to do it, 
and you're starting to do this blend and all this on the skin and you see a fast speed it up not and I again I you know I'm not saying don't speed up your videos but I do personally appreciate when somebody does a speed it up video to tell you how long it actually took so <laughs> because otherwise especially newbies that may never have colored before or done color pencils they're gonna see a speed it up skin blend maybe take five minutes and and not realize that it might have taken you know an area like this might have taken 30 minutes you know they don't know because it's all speeded up all right so now I'm going to go back to the sienna and kind of get a little bit more shadow right under her neck there or her face And of course, you don't have to take this much time if you know you don't want to. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Yeah, and you can see all the you know how long uh, the, all the layers. Just I'm barely no pressure. Oops, I got a little bit on our chin there. All right, so now I'm going to go into I'm going to get my a uh, dark umber. And I'm going to get right along the necklace here. Some of the very darkest things. And that's the other thing, too, when doing color book pages. Um, I found that people that, and I've said this before, um, when somebody will message me a picture, show me a picture, and say, you know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't like it. What's wrong with it? And I can tell you almost nine times out of ten, it's not the colors, it's not the blending. It's not, it's a not enough contrast. When you, if you do not like the page you did, then you look at it and see if you got enough dark, dark, darks. Because to me, that seems to be the, the people that complain, well, I don't want to say complain, are not happy. The people that are not happy with their pages when they're done, almost every single time, it's that's what it is there's not enough contrast and once they go in and add some real dark darks and it does take some practice to blend it all and everything but it's the contrast it's those dark darks is this sorry I was doing something else did you say you are using yes this is burnt umber and ginger root yeah burnt umber ginger root a sienna and a light umber and white those are the colors I'm using on her skin. Yeah. And then if it looks like the light is coming up too far here, then you just, you know, need to put another, bring down the shading a little bit further. And, you know, as long as you keep light layers, you won't get much wax bloom. And if you do get some, I think she's a little bit of a collarbone or something there. Um, if you get some wax bloom, you can like take a Q-tip and you know smooth it out so you don't see at an angle. You won't see the wax bloom. But you know, and even if you do have wax bloom, it's not horrible. The problem with when you, by the time you see wax bloom, you know the shiny bits from your pencil, you have pretty much smashed your paper as far as it can go and layered it as far as it can go unless you fixative it or something like that which I don't do any of that I don't put fixatives I don't put sprays I don't put sealers none of that on my color pencil I, I do that I put uh, on my mixed media collage and um, uh, altered books and stuff I'll I varnish those at the end but that's mostly paint with just a little bit of pencil but as far as my penciling goes I don't, I don't, you know, if a wax bloom's there, you know, I, I don't care. It, what I care about the wax bloom is that you can't keep layering. You can't keep adding. Same with watercolor. You need the darks to offset the lights. Yeah, it makes a difference. you got to have that contrast, you know. And then I want nice darks right along the edge of the necklace. 
or dress, whatever it is. Combo, dress, necklace. But you kind of got to get in the zone when you're doing it. When you're doing skin layers especially. Alright, so I'm going to show you her neck here. And I'm putting no pressure. Okay, so maybe you can see the difference between, say, her arm right there and her neck. See? So your face has still got just rough pencil. And, you know, got to take your time to blend it out. Bye, Terry. Thanks for being here. Yeah, we're gonna work about I'm gonna work about 15 more minutes I probably will come back to work on these maybe um, I might come back on Wednesday with these because obviously I'm not going to finish them and I knew I wouldn't because I'm working on two pieces at once right <clears throat> so maybe we'll come back on Wednesday and work on them again or unless I find some time to just record but I like I like to show y'all different stages too. Like sometimes you know I'll get to, I'll work on the ending. Sometimes I'll work on the very beginning with washes. You know that way because you, you know for me it's not for you to necessarily watch me finish a piece from start to finish. Although that's nice, you know. And I if I have to take you know three or four uh, episodes to do that. But for me, what's more important is for y'all to get the techniques. You know, because I'll post the pictures when they're done. I'll post them on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all that when they're completed. So it's not like you can't see them done. So for me, it's more important for y'all to see the process. You like her neck? <laughs> yeah. So I'm just adding some real dark um, shadows in here under the flowers and around the flowers. But you see how dark that is? I mean, that's like really dark. And you can put a little more pressure, like I can put a little more pressure here on this brown, you know, because I know I'm not going to be layering. But if you're not sure if you're going to be layering and layering and layering, don't put any pressure because you're, you have smashed the paper down, you've burnished it. And you just can't get blending once you've burnished your paper down. There's just no getting it back. You just can't fluff the paper back up, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, um, Oliver's been laying up here on my on my table, yeah. flinging himself down while I, yeah, he likes it. I know. I think you like the sound of your voice. You, well, and that's what I was telling the girls. I said, you know, I'm talking to them, but he probably thinks I'm talking to them, yeah. him, you know. So some nice darks right under the flowers and her headpiece. So I want that nice and dark. See the con how dark that how that makes that stand out. You're welcome, Dragonfly. All right, so let me do a little bit on our hands here, because you might be able to really, you know, see the fingers here, or, or let's like right in here. See, I'm gonna get that. Make sure that's nice and dark right along the shadow there. And, and it's that kind of thing that it seems like people are afraid to do. I mean, I guess either, I don't want to say that they don't want to take the time because I don't think that's the case. I think they're just kind of worried about getting it too dark. But it just makes it so, gives it so much more depth and life if you get those con high contrast in there. Know what I mean, Burn? All 
All right, let's go back up here on our forehead. All right, I'm going to put just a tiny bit of shadow around those jewels. Like they, they would probably have a little bit of depth to them. And then on the other side of the jewel, it would probably be have a highlight. Like, let me show you. It's a little, it needs to be blended out just a little. Let me find, let me just try to do it with this. I'm just going to blend that out. Where's my white? Yeah, here it is. It's going to kind of blend that out. I don't want to too harsh of a line because I can always go back and add it again and it's just a gold a little gold jewel you know I just did it with the gold paint it's tiny Thanks. Beautiful energy in my house. They are doing really well. Very settling. Yeah, well that's because the diva is not next to them. <laughs> it's gonna be it's a little tricky. We gotta kind of really monitor them when a diva's around until she just realizes she's got brothers and sisters. <laughs> you know? So we're going to, I'll be doing that after this. I'll take a picture of, you know, just to post on Twitter that this is what we did today. And it's a work in progress. And then um, I'll go uh, work on the cats. And, uh, hopefully can make it over to Janet's or Jean's today at some point. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't think I did these little dots. Maybe I did, and I've already gone back over them. I've got to keep, you know, that, that black, nice and black there. Okay. Let's go in with a little more ginger root here on our forehead. <laughs> yeah, she's, we'll see how she, she's going to have to adapt. I mean, that's just all there is to it. You know. I mean, they're all rescue cats, but th these, these two, you know, Denise had since they were babies. Diva, we got her and she was five. And, you know, she hasn't been around any cats since we've had her for six months or so. And this is the first time she's been around cats. And then uh, Oliver and um, Malibu have never been around other cats. Well, since they were born. Just putting a nice light coat of ginger root. And I'll show you her forehead here in a minute so you can probably see. Okay, needs a little bit more. Another light layer of sienna. No pressure, guys. I mean, if you could see how lightly I'm touching this. And I know I say that and repeat it a lot, but it's so... I mean, I can't stress it enough. I cannot stress enough how you have to have light pressure.
But it was fun. I'm glad y'all, thanks for being patient with the cats. And if you're watching the recording, if you, the cat, the part, the cat parts, if the cat parts annoy you, just fast forward. <laughs> That's the beauty of watching a recording. You can fast forward past any of it that, you know. And then I'm going to go back with the ginger root. And I'll hold it up so you can see her forehead. Okay. Can you see? Look at her forehead versus her, say, cheek. Can you see? Waiting for a cat, cat, of a catalan, catalanche. Let's have a craftalanche. We got a catalanche. <laughs> so see how smooth her forehead is, and I can still see where. Whoops. I can still see where I could even blend it a little more right in there, even though that is a shadow. But you see how smooth it is? And see down here where it's not yet? Then our neck, even right here, I could still do a little more blend right there. Versus that. See, there's not blended. Aw, thanks, Scooby. All right, so let me go ahead and back way out now. <clears throat> Oops, let's get the auto focus. There we go. Well, it could go somewhere in there. So this one and this one are the two we're working on. My camera's a little crooked. Hang on after all that movement so you can see the cats. There we go. So you can see the gold. I haven't done much on her. Got her pink hair started and her golden blue rose with the Inca gold paint. And then same for her. We got her started there. She's an elf. She has a pointy ear. Either that or she's a Vulcan. <laughs> but I think Vulcan ears go up. Yeah. <laughs> So you can see how we've started there. And uh, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed that. A couple hours of coloring. And I'll show you all the cat's picture one more time here. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it to focus in. No, let's see. Let me uh, let me go ahead since my I'm done with the let me hit a right light here. Whoops, wrong one. There they are. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm trying.
doesn't want to it doesn't want to play there we go well <laughs> anyway <laughs> so yeah thanks for being here Eileen thanks Eileen and all the mods Janet Eileen and Sherry and Julie when they're here thanks guys I'll, I won't work on I'll try not to I'll try not to work on them anymore until Wednesday okay but I'll take a little snap of them because they're really they're really more um, contrasted than they look here let's see here it's a little better that's a little truer There we go. That's better. Thanks, guys. All right. We all have a good afternoon. I'll try to get over to Janet. So she might stream early. I don't know. Janet, are you going to stream early? Um, yeah. Otherwise, she streams at 1. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Again, this is the book we're working out of. Hidden Paradise by Chris Lopez. And I got it on Amazon. So that's where you can purchase it if you like it. There is a flip through. I have done a flip through a couple weeks ago. Just flip real quick. It's all like fairy tales. And uh, yeah. Okay, guys. We'll see you later. Hey, Barb. Barb, did you see the cats? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Talk to you late. Coming on in 10 minutes. Okay. Well, I'll probably be a little late. Uh, but uh, please record, Janet. Please record. Bye, guys.